Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to another wreath tutorial. Guys, I am sharing this sweet summer hello country burlap deco mesh wreath with you. I'll show you from start to finish how I put everything together. I'll show, share everything where I got it from. And guys, this is in collaboration with DIY with Nadia. I love it. She has pulled us uh, together again and we are bringing you some summer wreath inspiration. Look for the playlist link listed in the description box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, for this uh, sweet summer wreath, I'm using this uh, 21 inch deco mesh wreath on a 14 inch uh, wire frame. I'm also using these three 10 inch mesh. Now I'll share real quick how I make my uh, basis. I start with this 21 inch mesh and I roll it out in the pipe cleaners and the deco mesh I get from Hobby Lobby. Now uh, this one is just showing this process or this method on a green frame. The one, the wreath that I'm using today is actually on a gold frame and it's a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree. So I just, um, put a pipe cleaner there, you know, just kind of start somewhere in the inner ring. And then I just bunch up the uh, deco mesh and I just clip it there or tie it, you know, just twist it and just go across because when I'm putting on my sign, um, that kind of helps with a cushion. And so I don't like my wreaths to have a hole in them, you know, like where my sign sinks in. So this method just kind of helps me. This is just a personal preference. And I usually get two of these wreaths out of a 21 inch roll of deco mesh. And again, I got this at Hobby Lobby. All right, so then I twist it there at the bottom and then I make around an eight inch poof. And then I usually work uh, with that those pipe cleaners on a bar. And so I pulled out my ruler just to kind of, uh, you know, measure my poof. And yep, I'm at eight inches. And the more you do it, the more you get a little bit better with guesstimating or measuring as you go along. And so what I do is I continue to make eight inch poofs all the way around the inner ring. Now, then when I get to this part right here where that one, uh, zip tie, I mean, or that pipe cleaner is, sometimes I will untwist it and then put that um, deco mesh in there, that eight inch poof. But on this particular one, this was like a video that I had done at the very, very beginning. I was, I'm actually putting it in the middle of the two rings. So you can see there are four rings there. But now what I do is I just untwist that one pipe cleaner and I just, you know, push that deco mesh in there and then twist it back. I don't even put it on the middle ring anymore like I'm doing here in this video, but whatever works. As a wreath maker, you just find different tips and tricks that work for you as you go along. And then you find what, you know, you find other wreath makers that inspire you, uh, designers, other things that you like to do. So I'll continue to make these eight inch poofs all the way around the inner ring. Then once I get to the, you know, starting point, then I'll drop down to the outer two rings and make 10 inch poofs all the way around. So then now I'm ready to move on to my 10 inch deco mesh. Now this soft poly uh, 10 inch deco mesh came from Hobby Lobby and I'm measuring it out on my mat and cutting these at 14 inches just with my rotary cutter. Then what I'll do is I will uh, fold over the ends and make cruffles and this is my favorite way to make cruffles i just fold over the end uh, one side i fold over the other side and then i just gather it in the middle i clip it with uh, just some little clips just to kind of help me i have there's a method to my madness that i always say and again i just want to encourage you every wreath maker is different you find your own uh, methods own ways that work for you and then you perfect it the way that it you know it helps you streamline if you want to make a wreath for yourself or if you want or you're interested in sewing. So this uh, burlap snowball mesh also came from Hobby Lobby and what I did is I cut it at 14 inches as well and making my cruffles uh, bend over one 
end then I bend over the other side and then just clip it and so what I'm doing here is that first uh, 10 inch mesh I'm just you know putting those together making an X pattern I have six of those because I'm going to be putting that into my uh, deco mesh base just to start getting it you know formed and fluffing up all right so this window pane mesh uh, it's kind of gold and it has some white with it and I got this from craftoutlet.com and so I'm cutting this at 14 inches as well I'll do the same thing as far as like making my cruffles I'll just bend over the ends uh, each side and the gathered in the middle so that I make a cruffle just like that or a taco or something like that just whatever works I just kind of help this helps with doing this so that I do not have the fraying on the ends of my uh, deco mesh okay then here on my burlap base I have 12 pipe cleaners and so I have six of these two burlap together that I made the X pattern so what I'm going to do is uh, go kind of like in a zigzag motion I'm going to be putting them in one pipe cleaner then dropping down putting in the other one then I go up and put this one in the top one and I keep alternating it like that then I will drop down and do the same thing with that yellow and white uh, window pane mesh just to fill it all up okay so then once I get to this point what I'm gonna do is add uh, some more 10 inch deco mesh now this white and brown tan burlap deco mesh I got from Hobby Lobby now this was in their fall season uh, harvest season and so I love it I bought several rolls of that because I knew that I was going to want to use it in my country deco mesh rates so what I'm doing is cutting this at 14 inches as well and then um, like in between where the deco mesh is I have like what I call a hole and so I just pull out some pipe cleaners and I uh, just thread the pipe cleaner on the inner two rings and then uh, just do the same thing by making my cruffles bending over one end and the other end gathering in the middle and then I'll just go around and I will fill in with six of these uh, burlap and cream colored uh, you know deco mesh 10 inch deco mesh from Hobby Lobby during the fall season but you may can find it somewhere else the 10 inch hello sign is a metal sign that I picked up from decoexchange.com. This ribbon right here is a one and a half inch uh, brown with lemons on it that came from Craft Outlet. And the faux lemons, I got some of the picks from Walmart, uh, individual little picks, and then that bunch of lemons I picked up at Michael's. Now this is just a whole bunch of different ribbons that I got and uh, that I pulled out and I'm like eh, I may want to use these for my ribbon bundles so what I'm doing is I'm making three sets of ribbon bundles and one of them of course is going to have this window pane mesh it's one of my favorite uh, not mesh ribbon I get this at Hobby Lobby and uh, I don't wrap it around my ribbon board I actually cut it by hand I measure it out to 14 inches and so then all of the other ones I measure out 13 inches uh, just you know if I wrap my ribbon around my board I do it no more than three or four times because then once you wrap it around the board it actually adds a little bit um, extra length to the ribbon if you wrap it around a whole bunch of times uh, but I just it's just a personal preference so I just take you know my ribbon and then I'm going to dovetail it and you dovetail just by uh, you know bending it together finding the center and then I cut a V or a, a dovetail that's just what I call it it just really makes a very nice look to the ends of your ribbon I wanted to use this two and a half inch yellow with the daisies but I only had enough ribbon to make four uh, ribbons out of them so I just pulled out this yellow and white 
checkered ribbon that I had on hand and I'll just mix those and just using my ribbon tail boards just to measure those out and dovetail those as well and so then this right here is uh, the quarter full ribbon came from Hobby Lobby all of these ribbons either came from craft outlet or from Hobby Lobby and so I'm just doing the same thing with the burlap I'm just measuring it out and then I'll dovetail each one of those and you know just to make sure that my wreaths look really nice I just take my time and make sure that they all are dovetailed and that everything looks nice this burlap uh, with the white daisies came from craft outlet and so I'm doing the same thing I measure those out at 13 inches dovetail those and then I'm going to be putting all of my bundles together now I have a like I said a method to my madness a method to my process this is just just what works for me I get all of my ribbon bundles together and what helps me is using my little tiny attacher just a little bitty stapler that I use to attach all of my ribbon bundles together okay so um, I just wanted to mention here while I'm cutting this right here this brown stripe if I, if I have a brown stripe like this I usually do not dovetail those only because it I don't like the way that it looks when I dovetail my uh, striped ribbon but this right here that's what I do I just cut it straight so again what I do to make my bundles I figure out which patterns of ribbon I want together then I just you know crisscross them and then I use that little tiny attacher if you're interested in um, something like that you can use a regular stapler but this puts a teeny tiny little staple in there uh, and I have it listed in my Amazon shop. All right, so now for this, uh, the yellow and white one and a half inch ribbon came from Hobby Lobby and that brown lemon uh, that also came from Craft Outlet. And so what I do is um, I'm just measuring those out at 12 inches and then I just crisscross those, make an X out of those and just, you know, attach those with my little stapler and then um, later on I will be adding some bows with that brown yellow ribbon so then I have um, three sets of six each of these bundles that I'm going to be putting into those 18 pipe cleaners all right so um, as I mentioned I'm going to be putting some bows in one of these sets of ribbon and so I measure this out at 28 inches that gives me a nice uh, bow where I can make two loops and have a nice tail on it so then that is how my little bundles are looking so far this is just what works for me uh, you know as I just to make sure that I put all of my ribbon bundles in so then I did just to figure out which ones I'm going to be putting in which deco mesh so I kind of stick with that go all the way around put that in then I go on to the next one so like these uh, bundles right here I'm putting in the burlap with the, like the snowball mesh and putting that in then the next one I'm going to be putting in with the gold that gold window pane mesh then the other one I put in with the uh, brown burlap with the cream check and it's just that's just kind of how my brain works just so that I know I am feel that I can get all of my ribbon bundles in there correctly and not get tripped up and go did I put one ribbon bundle in one other I don't know if it really matters but in my mind that's just really how my brain works so for the next set of ribbon I'm going to be adding uh, some raffia just some uh, ties I just kind of gather a few strands together and then just tie it off in the middle and sometimes I like to add raffia to my country burlap wreaths because I do like the wispiness of it and so that it's not overbearing I just uh, add just a few in to one part or, or one uh, bundle of the ribbons and the deco mesh and so I've chosen the two uh, one and a half inch the two set um, they're right there with the yellow and the brown with the you know yellow ribbon and so I just untwist that gold window pane mesh and then just add my two ribbons in there put my 
uh, little raffia bundles in there and then tie that off. I just cut off any of the excess of the pipe cleaner and then just bend the pipe cleaner down so that it's all secure. All right, so then for this set, this has three ribbons uh, to it. And then that is the uh, ribbon bundle that I chose to put my ribbon bows in there. I know there's a lot of ribbon, but I like my deco mesh wreaths to be very full and very colorful and have a ton of coordinating ribbons. That is just really my goal. And I do sell all of my wreaths uh, at a local business. My sister actually owns a furniture store slash gift shop in my hometown. And I'm so fortunate to have her in my life and be able to sell all of these creations at her store in Brenham, Texas. And so I do get questions about that all of the time. Do I sell my wreaths? Do I have an Etsy shop? No, I do not because I do have the honor and privilege of, you know, having a sister who allows me to sell them locally in my hometown. All right. So then now to add the sign, I am just taking this small a uh, hole punch. Now this sign right here came from Deco Exchange and it is a metal sign. So I'm just putting four small holes in the, uh, you know, just around the sign. And then I'm just going to cut some wire, uh, just thread that through the back of the frame. And then uh, to help thread it through, I'm using these long upholstery needles that I picked up this pack from Walmart. And that is what I'm going to use to help me thread that through the deco mesh and so that I can twist the wire onto that little sign to hold it onto my wreath. Once I get my sign and the wire you know, pull through the back with those upholstery needles. I'm using these curling wire uh, tools that I got from a sweet friend and follower, Miss Jan Blackwell, sent these to me and I'm just using them just to curl my wire down. Now, uh, if you're interested in any of these tools, I do have uh, like it's listed in my link tree in the description box. I have, uh, you know, the place where I found these uh, curling tools as well as my Amazon shop for that small hole puncher that I used for the sign. All right, so I'm going to add some greenery to this cute summer wreath and I'm just doing that. Uh, this greenery came from Hobby Lobby and I'm just cutting it apart and I'm just taking my uh, needle nose pliers and bending down a piece of the top of the you know stem so that it doesn't slip off. Then I'm using my uh, pick machine. Now this is something that I invested in you know many years ago for my florals. It just puts a small silver pick on the end of the edge of the you know greenery and so then I just use uh, I'm just using my hot glue skillet I know it's off to my right hand side you can't see it but I'm just you know dipping that in the hot glue and then putting the just to make sure that it is you know secure I'm just putting it in the flaps of the uh, deco mesh so that it's all nice and secure then for the lemons, I chose to use the lemon picks that I picked up at Walmart and it has a lot of different flowers and textures to it. And so I'm just kind of figuring out, mm, do I want to cut these apart or did I want to stick them in their hole? So I decided to take my wire cutters and cut the little stems apart. And there's a lot of goodness on these stems. So I did the same thing as I did with the greenery, just put that small uh, pick on the ends of each of the sections of the little lemon pick. And then I'm just gluing all of that together uh, or gluing it with my hot glue into the flaps of the deco mesh so that it's all nice and secure. And I just love all of the different 
uh, textures of just the lemons, the small lemons. And I like those larger lemons too from Michael's, but I wanted something a little bit smaller. I didn't want it to be overpowering for this actual deco mesh wreath. All right. So then now just to share what I use to cover up the back of my wreaths, I like to get these, uh, placemats from Hobby Lobby during the fall season. I buy a bunch of those, especially when they're on sale. I like to use the grapevine wire to make a hanger for the back of my wreath to hang it and then to attach the placemat to the back of my frame I just use extra pipe cleaners that I cut off from you know my deco mesh just attach that to the back of the wreath just to make sure that everything is nice and secure since I'm selling my wreaths I want my wreaths to be professional looking and to be completely finished Okay, friends, don't forget this is a summer wreathathon, so there's a lot more summer wreath goodness headed your way. You can find those by clicking the link in the description box below. Thank you so much, Nadia, for inviting me to be part of this collaboration. I love it so much, and we will talk to you all very soon. God bless you, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.